Welcome to the Pharmacist's Voice podcast, where we talk about pharmacy topics, including drug pronunciations. I am your host and Ohio pharmacist, Kim Newlove. We're talking about azithromycin today. This is episode 301. Just a quick announcement here as we get started. This is the 41st episode in this drug pronunciation series. I love this series. I teach you how to pronounce drug names so you feel more confident saying them and less frustrated learning them, and we have covered every single letter in the alphabet to this point, at least once. And moving forward, we're going to go in chronological order from A to Z, and today we're starting with the letter A. That does it for the announcement. Just wanted to make you aware of the method to my madness moving forward here. Let's get started. What is azithromycin? If you ask a patient what they use it for, they will say, it's my antibiotic. And that sounds right to me. It is in the antibacterial therapeutic category. The brand name is Zithromax, and azithromycin is the generic name. I dispensed my fair share of Zithromax Z-packs and oral suspensions when I worked retail, but I'm not in clinical practice anymore. And by the way, I don't cover the pharmacology here. I just do pronunciations. With that said, let's move on. Just in case you are brand new to this series, let me tell you how it works. I break drug names down into syllables, tell you which syllables to emphasize, and then I share my sources. The written pronunciations, in addition to hearing my verbal pronunciations, can be very helpful, so those written pronunciations are in the show notes for episode 301 on thepharmacistsvoice.com. Let's go with the generic name first. Azithromycin has five syllables, A like the letter A in the alphabet, Zith like the word myth, Ro like you row a boat, My as in my favorite Halloween candy is the Reese's peanut butter cup, My, and Sin like the sin of gluttony, which I am guilty of when I eat too many Reese's peanut butter cups. (laughs) Haha, Sin. Put that all together and you get azithromycin. Emphasize zith and my. My gets the most emphasis. See if you can hear that emphasis when I say it again. Azithromycin. My source is the USP Dictionary Online. The USP Dictionary Online is my favorite resource for generic drug pronunciations. Now, even though I found the correct pronunciation in the USP Dictionary Online, I like to mention that some people like to say azithromycin with a short A sound instead of azithromycin with a long A sound. I have been known to vacillate between the two myself. I thought I'd admit that here. And if you say it either way, you are in good company. Again, I have been known to say azithromycin and azithromycin myself. But if you want to go by the book, and this is your very first time ever learning how to say, azithromycin. Go with the book. It is azithromycin. Let's move on to the brand name. The brand name is Zithromax. Like a lot of brand name drugs, Zithromax has three syllables. Zith, like the word myth. Row, like you row a boat. And max, which is short for maximum. Put all three syllables together and you get Zithromax. Which syllable do you emphasize? That is a great question. I personally tend to emphasize zith, but my source did not indicate a syllable to emphasize, which brings me to my next question. What's my source? Where did I find the pronunciation of zithromax? I found the written pronunciation of zithromax on the FDA's website. Where on the FDA's website, it's a big website, I found it in the Patient Information section of the Prescribing Information for Zithromax. I'll put a link to that in the show notes on thepharmacistsvoice.com so you can click and go there and check it out yourself. Let's review. We talked about the pronunciations of azithromycin and zithromax today. I broke both drug names down into syllables, told you which syllables to emphasize, and I shared my sources. I even gave you an alternative pronunciation for azithromycin, which is azithromycin. Again, by the book, it is azithromycin, but now you know both. The written pronunciations for azithromycin and zithromax are in the show notes, and that's all I have for you today. 
Thank you for joining me to learn how to say azithromycin and zithromax. To find the show notes for this episode, go to thepharmacistsvoice.com, click on the podcast tab, and search for episode 301. In the show notes, you will find the written pronunciations for both drugs, a link to the USP Dictionary online, a link to the prescribing information for Zithromax, links to the other 40 episodes in my drug pronunciation series, my social media links, and more. LinkedIn is my favorite, so if you would like, please feel free to reach out and connect. If you are looking for a medical narrator for your voiceover project, I can help you out. Go to thepharmacistsvoice.com, hit the contact tab, and leave me a message. If you know someone who would like to learn how to say azithromycin and zithromax, go ahead and share this episode with them. I would very much appreciate it. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Pharmacist Voice podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. Thanks for listening today. I will talk to you next week.